Oh, JD here, Tyrol Lewis, and we are back on the F1 2021, as always. And we are here today for our first taste of what is expected to be league racing on F1 2021. This is a social race, and as I said before, a social race is pretty much exactly the same as a league race but it just doesn't count towards anything. So it's a group of drivers who come together, who want to race, who want to have that experience to learn some things, but most importantly to have fun. And yeah, for me, I just want to see where I'm at with this game. I haven't done a 50% race. So this is obviously the 50% of Silverstone, uh, strict rules, custom setups. So yeah, let's see uh, exactly where we are. And we've got a few quite a lot of good drivers in here one of them the main ones being shadow um, who i've already discussed before he's got the world record round silverstone uh, right now i believe and i think he's one of the fastest drivers i've actually gone against in raw speed so this would be a good test and you can see our first lap wasn't enough to take him off the pole position and we're going for a second lap here now as we've got a little bit of traffic so that hasn't helped me up but definitely not ideal and you can see this first sector it is not a, a good first sector so far and with a mistake on this game you can see how much it punishes you just that little mistake it really really can but we brought it back now throughout the lap to the purple middle sector we actually are still going to improve despite being a tenth and a bit down so that gives me some confidence going into the last run that there's a lot more time in the tank as well so we're preparing our final run now shadow still hasn't improved so i'm just gonna try and give it my best and see where we go so code three is turn one nice complete flat out corner here so nice and tight to the left hand side as we discussed as just as the curb starts as we want to break in when a little bit too hot a little bit too tight you don't want to be going right up to the white line on the exit there but nonetheless you can see how much of a better exit we had compared to the first lap uh, that I did here. And going through this split is a 26.8, so not really too bad at all. And so far, really so good. Coming through here, short shifting up into fourth gear, and we get a pretty uh, decent exit. Make sure you try and cut this corner as much as you can because it will gain you some time. And going through this corner is very, very sketchy in this game, but we just about to navigate that almost going off the track and we gained a slight bit of time my favorite sequence of cores on a formula one game magnus and beckett's and we did this fairly okay although we've lost a bit of time to our delta and it's a purple middle sector that felt and looked actually pretty nice by the end here we don't hit the apex so we just don't turn early enough um, so you can see we lost about seven hundredths of a second. Now going to Chicane, I've got to try my best to gain any of that time back. And it was a fairly clean chicane, not too bad at all. And current across the line, it is enough to put me on provisional pole position for 24-8, which is not too bad at all. And at the end of this qualifying, that actually got me enough to be on pole. So starting on the front row of this race, and let's see how it goes. But back with the action. That lap there, I wasn't too happy with. I think we could have gone quite a bit faster than that. But nonetheless, that is pole position in my first pretty much almost non-league race on this game here. And let's see how we go for this remaining 26 laps alongside Shadow, who is a rapid driver in this game. So as the five fights go out now, trying to get a good start. And this guy is completely jumped the start. He said to me after the race that he that wasn't intentional. Apparently his fingers slipped on the paddles. We now have to think about maybe just a little bit of defense from Shadow here. And no, this is going to be brand new territory. I've never done a 50% on this game or anything whatsoever. I've only really done five lappers and a TT right now. So now we'll be able to get a real good understanding of how the tires uh, react and perform. Uh, with the tire temps and wear also with the slipstream drs and with the ers uh, power um, it will definitely give me a much better insight of how you really want to approach uh, league races in the future 
on this game so there's gonna be a lot of raw footage uh, in this video um, and it's probably gonna be quite a long one as well so I hope you enjoy it let me know if you did and yeah so let's keep on going into it but the first thing I noticed straight away or the first thing I feel is yeah, much heavier fuel makes it even more understeery on this game so you can see I was going wide into the cops there end of the hangar straight doing that pretty nicely and this guy ahead of me I know everyone's clean in here but I was a little bit worried that maybe he had done it intentionally or something like that just to try and maybe have a laugh or something but no so I'm just trying to keep my distance from him I'm not trying to catch him uh, too quickly because he has a drive through penalty so he's gonna have to go into the pits within the next two laps but we end up do catching him you can see we've got quite a good amount of batteries still on the board here we've actually pulled away uh, from the guys in fourth and fifth um, so we already have a little bit of a lead over them so i decided to use the overtake button now but this guy has decided to use his as well uh, quite evidently didn't want to get in the slipstream there in case he decided to let off or something so we're gonna go down the inside here and does he fight this too hard not too hard yet and then he dips off into the pit so as i said after the race he said that was a completely uh, unintentional uh, start what he got there um which sucks for him but you no know, come across line here we set the or the shadow sets the fastest app and we've got a bit of a lead over the guys behind and now again as i said this is really you really want to use social races as a way to know when to attack um how to use the uh the power and the fuel and you can see the fuel here we can't change the fuel mix the shadow um, goes for the overtake so we're just gonna let him go through um, and the fuel I found typically doesn't really doesn't really change uh, that much and it doesn't really have any effect on the one that pace or the pace throughout the race so I tried it with zero amount of fuel and then I tried it with three laps and there was literally no difference in pace from what I found myself so that's really a non-relevant factor anymore to be honest um, which is a, it's a shame in the world because there is a little bit of strategy to it but in a way I, I do like it where it just allows you to really just focus on the driving but now letting Shadow pass I wasn't going to fight too hard because we still have 22 laps of this race to go this will give me a good idea of what the slipstream and what the dirty air is like because on last game um, I definitely suffered of that particularly going through Maggots and Beckett's corners such as this it was really really hard to uh, try and get a good exit of this corner and but so far uh, the dirty air doesn't seem to be too bad and you can see we're in the DRS line here using a bit of the overtake button but then decide to turn it off and you can see we didn't even use that much overtake but we've got it done down this straight he decides to try and hang it in there but I feel he's probably going to back off which he does going into chicane so my initial thoughts are that the slipstream is not insanely powerful but the drs is quite powerful and the overtake button and the thing is as well with this overtake button i i feel and you'll see it throughout this video i feel that it's way too generous in how much it gives back to you when you lift off and break and you're able to use it for uh, way too long as well and since it's very easy to save and keep people can just defend with it and yeah like last game you really had to be very careful how much you used and if you didn't then you'd be very very punished whereas in this game you could pretty much go and overtake for almost like a two laps so it's very easy to defend against other people and really kind of takes away uh, the power of it but of course we still have to give it time and we still have to see what it's like around other tracks as well you can see here I'm just chilling behind Shadow so I'm not going to try and get too close. You can see I've got a good amount of my ERS uh, saved up as well. And we're just going to wait to when he pits here, which he does now go into the pits now. So I wanted to stay out to see what this overcut or what the benefit would be of staying out or how much he undercuts me by. So you can see we saved up quite a bit of the power. We set the fastest up at the same time as well because these soft tyres around Silverstone quite similar to last game uh, they're very very strong uh, around this track in fact and tire wear doesn't really seem to be really an issue 
or anything whatsoever at this point here so we're going to stay on board for this whole in lap and you can see we're deploying pretty much all of our ERS now you can see that no, we still haven't really used even that much of it as we go purple in the first sectors so that shows we do still uh, have some speed in the car here a shadow is now just exiting the pits let's see how far he is behind he's about 29.5 seconds behind here and let's keep an eye on that gap let's see if he actually even closes in as we run out wide uh, but no track limit warning which something else i've noticed in this game it definitely seems to be a little bit inconsistent at times with the track limits uh, let me know what you think of that as well you know, but especially around silverstone you could just go very wide and it won't punish you you see going through this middle sector we are still uh, up on our fastest lap and the gap to shadow has actually stayed the same as well so it's actually looking very very good for us coming into the pits making sure we spot that breaking point and we do that uh, very nicely so my initial thoughts on that first stint is tire wear is pretty minimal the overtake button is very generous and the DRS is very powerful so yeah it's um for league racing I think especially in like esports or when you're in a big train I think it's going to be very hard to actually um get past people who have DRS in front of you as well so uh, we'll have to see how the racing actually goes but I think in the train it's going to be a little bit problematic because everyone can just use their overtake button to defend and save it very very easily it doesn't really punish you too much if you use it too much so you can see here kind of the pits we come out with like 75 percent and i actually think we got closer to shadow um, i think we actually gained time on that in lap and now we have slightly fresher tires which to be honest if they're anything like the softs it's not really going to make too much a difference in terms of pace so coming out of the pits here you'll be able to see despite using all of that ers pretty much on the in lap going through there we're like 95 plus percent um so it's very very generous i think maybe tweaking that to make it a bit harder uh, would be a little bit more fun uh, for playing online as well but you can see here we've got quite a big lead on the guys behind um and yeah i think the pace is pretty good at this point here the set feels very very nice as well it's actually loaded in the wrong setup i actually put in my baku setup by accident but funny enough and that setup actually feels really good around everywhere so this is actually my silverstone setup as we're going to go for a move down the inside without really uh, too much effort here because now i want to test to see if it's possible to try and break the drs of the car behind with the pace so we're gonna try and give it everything here with the overtake button and let's see what we can do is so we do a purple our sector and now we're just gonna take it through a sap trying to go as fast as we possibly can so going to the sequence of corners take it nice and um, that's how you want to do it in qualifying qualifying i went too deep into there as edmg 4494 I believe sets the fastest up of a 0.6 or something like that so we're going to try and beat that ourselves and we're already going purple in this first sector and the gap to shadow is about half a second so i just want to see even with the power of the drs if it's possible to even uh, break away um let's see if it is at all so we're really really trying hard here we have more than enough time to Reharvest our ERS, so that's something I wasn't particularly worried about. Go through Maggots and Beckett's, that part is fine, but coming through here, we almost lose the car there, and that is just a very harsh reminder. These curbs in this game are absolutely brutal, and they can just destroy your race in an instant. So, we decided to abandon this app, uh, we didn't deploy any power coming out of the Maggots and Beckett's. And we're going to go again on the next app because even despite using that much ERS, we still have close to 70% as we cross the line. We do do a 27-3 despite that mistake and not really pushing at the end. We're going to go again and let's see uh, what we can do. And you can see the gap to the guys from 4th and 5th are going up uh, quite quickly. So uh, the pace is, I feel, is quite strong in this race so far. I don't think we're going to really have to worry about the 
uh, tyre where he ended the race but you can see the gap to show is about uh, six temps almost seven temps so we're pushing again just seven thousand slower than we were in the previous lap going through uh, that sector one so i really want to see if it's possible uh, to get away from here as the gap is still about uh, seven temps but you can see he is actually gaining uh, slightly here despite his using overtake so a little bit of slipstream i feel is being picked up because we were running the same wings in this race and now going through the seekers of corners let's see if we can survive it this time yes we can and we actually do that uh, very very nicely very well you can see we're gaining a little bit of time in the exit a purple middle sector so two and a bit temps up uh, this time here really really depleting that battery power and coming through the end of hanger straight we do that very nicely as well but i don't think it's going to be enough to get away because the gap is still hovering between six to seven temps as we go across cross line what time is this going to be it's a 26.9 almost to 0.8 so quite a bit quicker um but the detection point for the drs is right here and i don't think there's really anything we can do so right now we just gotta save all of our ers again and try and charge up towards the end of the race and about to see how much he goes in so the gap's about six temps and with the power of the drs he's closed in over three temps uh, so so easily so i think that's very very powerful and it's going to be very hard for you to actually pull away from people so over the next coming laps we just haven't really used any of the ers uh, whatsoever so we're going to let shadow pass again and just half a step behind him because it'll be a little bit easier uh, to do so with the benefit of a car in front here as just poking on those in there but i'm just trying to use this again as trying to see what the dirty air and the effect is and right now i don't think it's really too uh, substantial and doesn't really seem to be affecting the car uh, too much uh, at all and you can see the slipstream we are picking up a little bit of a slipstream um, as well on previous games i probably would have put down to lean at that point but uh, since we can't do that you have to actually physically lift off the throttle which is just actually just going to save me more ers uh, in the meantime and you can also see that my fuel hasn't really changed uh, too much throughout this race uh, as well but we're moving on to lap 21 now and i was starting to think a little bit more towards the end of the race on previous games you really want to be leading um going to last lap as long as you have enough ers uh, due to the dirty air but on this game might not be a great idea to be leading since it's going to be very easy to pass the car ahead of you if they don't have the DRS. So just to rephrase that, in traffic, I think when people have DRS in front of you, it's going to be really hard to overtake. But if they don't have DRS, I think it's going to be really, really easy um, to overtake them. So moving on to the start of lap at 22 here, and you can already see that we are picking up a little bit of a slipstream no real dirty air effects uh, going through into turn one you can see we gained well over a temp just in the slipstream alone going through into there and with these apps behind shadow i think this is a good opportunity to see where i feel i'm faster than him i think off this corner I have quite a good exit but also off magnets and beckett's i think we get quite close and i think quite often we actually had to turn off uh, the drs going down that straight otherwise we would have just um, overtaking him too easily and I think you're about to see that here as well so this time we don't actually get an amazing exit we put on the DRS here we're not using any of the overtake and you can see I think we're actually going to turn off the DRS which we do before we even get to the breaking point and you can see we've already saved pretty much all of our ERS uh, once again and before the end of the straight no I don't think we're even using it I'm going down there so yeah, it's uh, very, very powerful as long as the car in front doesn't have the benefit of DRS ahead. So this is the lap where I was thinking of really trying to uh, potentially uh, get this overtake. So we're just going to stay on board here really from now until the end of the race, I believe here. Because on the last game, as I said, you really want to be trying to lead into the last lap with really 40 to 50%. Uh, ERS uh, at a minimum so I was going to try the same thing because really this race is just a test it doesn't count towards anything at all I just wanted to see what kind of position you really want to be aiming for 
for the Sarsap, but I knew with the amount of ERS and how easy it was to save that he probably had quite a lot of ERS himself. It says you can see we're actually on a hundred percent coming off the exit of that corner. So, so that time and time again, it's extremely generous <laughs> on this game in terms of the uh, the ERS management. But coming through Magnus Beckett again. Um, not being affected uh, too bad, maybe just ever so slightly, but it's really not too bad. This time we get a fairly decent exit. Now I'm going to go for the overtake and we're going to turn it off. We already turned it off uh, very early, the overtake button. And you can just see we're just absolutely just cruising by there. We've only really using the DRS. So no, I don't think he really defended that too hard because he wants to be the car behind. And now starting to pulse what happens. We almost lose the car there. Um, you can see we're starting that with 90% of the ERS, do 27.3. Uh, and now let's see if being in the lead position is the place that you really want to be. But this guy comes out of the pits who I think is disconnected from the race. And that's actually going to give us the benefit of the uh, the DRS, which is actually going to help us out <laughs> very, very nicely. So we use a little bit of the boost and then we've got the DRS line here and we turn off the overtake because he's definitely not going to be close enough on this occasion so coming to the end of sector one coming through this corner again we have 95 percent of the ers so uh, more than enough to really play with i'm going to use quite a bit down here as you can see the tire wear wasn't particularly high either i think the indicator starts to come on at 60 percent wear as it did in the first stint let's go through here you can see it's already got quite a good slipstream uh, kind of free. It might have used a little bit of the boost. We definitely have a little bit better turn in now we had the car ahead and he, he did suffer a bit of dirty air. A purple middle sector and you can see I don't think he's really trying particularly hard as now we are close to starting the last lap of this race and we're going to be starting a lap with above 70% ERS. About 75% ERS. So that is more than enough than you need. So starting us up, we actually set the fastest up of the race um, whilst uh, doing that as well. And now let's see if he can make any threats uh, to our lead here. So on the previous game, this is really this overtaking spot. Um, this DRS straight is really the main spot you want to be getting the overtake done due to the dirty air of Magus and Beckett's. But on this occasion, we're using the overtake button. Then we decide to turn it off because I know he's not going to be close enough going into that corner so really the only chance he has left is coming off the exit of maggots and uh, beckett so coming off here i'm going to use quite a bit of the boost here i'm um, just to make sure he's not that or trying to make sure he's not that close going into the maggots and beckett so trying to get a good exit through here let's see what he does he actually goes wide so he really wants to try and get as close as he can he's actually a little bit further away than he was on the previous up so really crucial now that i get a good exit coming off this corner and we do get actually a very good exit but he is fairly close as well at the same time so we'll have to actually go very very defensively let's see what he does we're using all of our overtake he tries to go around the outside we leave him just enough room on the exit and now it's a drag race down to this far can and we go around the outside holding it for the inside and we slow it down in the apex just to make sure he doesn't go for the cup back and coming across the line, we have managed to just about take this win from Shadow. And in the end, that was actually a very intense last lap after the race really was just us uh, cruising behind each other and just saving really just the ERS. So a good first experience of what it may become for the traditional league race here. And my plans are that you will have to stay tuned um, but I'm looking forward to racing in the future. It was really good to race in this again. I will be hosting social races probably at least once a week. So make sure you stay tuned for every video I do. Um, because I'll probably leave a link to where you can sign up to that. Um, if not, just message me and I will get back to you. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're enjoying the game. Thank you for the support. And I will catch you very, very soon. Peace.